all new fantasy is upon us in the lands of Nahantu. There will be new creatures that we get to experience, call on, and interact with that are called spirit guardians. But before we dive in, let's talk about the spirit realm. What is it? So upon the creation of Sanctuary, when Anarius and Lilith altered the World Stone, the magic between these two great powers released a clouded veil of this magical energy. So between the High Heavens and the Burning Hells, there lies the Spirit Realm, a blanket of raw magical energy that surrounds us where magic can take form. An untouched realm that has managed to last without corruption, for now. The amazing part about this realm is that it's a byproduct of humanity, and the angels and demons don't realize there's this power that's connected to sanctuary. And this makes the Spiritborn class really unique, this culture that we get to introduce and players get to explore. So some of this energy is crystallized into sentient spirits. The prophet Akra in one of his dedicants, Sisavete, forged a path for Spiritborn today, learning how to call upon spirits and working harmoniously with spirit guardians. The Spiritborn would, over time, implement these practices into tradition. And it is the Spiritborn who can harness this magic, but can only actually wield it once completing a coming-of-age ritual called the Trial of Mists that are filled with many arduous tests. And the Spiritborn have this innate calling. They plan for this trial from a very young age. It is said that there is a strong spiritual bond between the Spiritborn and the Spirit Guardians that we're talking about. These spirits, they've been growing forever and changing with the spirit realm over millennia. And the Spiritborn call upon the most powerful spirit guardians as an extension of their martial arts abilities to help their fight against the vessels of hatred. There are four spirit guardians the Spiritborn class can call upon in the vessel of hatred. There's Rizoka, the hunter. The spirit reveals itself in jaguar form, fueled by fire and encompasses the spirit of the jungle. Leaping into battle, clawing its way through enemies, you'll recognize a jaguar by its burning embers. We have Kwatli, the seeker. This majestic eagle that drops in by channeling lightning. It's an animal of wisdom and mobility, so it flies through combat, teleporting you from one spot to another. We have Woomba, the guardian. This gorilla represents a beacon of protection and strength. Really slamming the enemies in combat, you'll see him jumping in with this extreme might. I personally think that the ultimate is pretty cool. Lastly, we have Balazan, the devourer, a massive centipede that reflects the cycle of life. Whenever we talk about this spirit guardian, we really want it to represent what happens after life, which is decay and harmony with sanctuary. When there is life, there is death. And you really get to see that with the centipede as he spews in battle. It's really exciting because the jungles of Nahantu may be dangerous, but you'll still get to find a bounty of dark yet fruitful adventures. Not only do we get to explore the depths of the jungle, we also get to explore the spirit realm. And with this new found understanding of what our spirit guardians can do for the spirit born, let us work together with vigor to purge the hatred from these lands once again. Let Akrat's dedication to defeating evil not be forgotten.